Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum I'm Jannatul Firdos from my channel for the Computers and Technology Showing you how to make this kind of modern morph by using PowerPoint 13 and PowerPoint 16 Hope you all guys love this video and support me by watching this video till end So without wasting any further time, let's start our today's tutorial as always, start by opening up blank slide, select all this text box and delete. Okay, now what we have to do? We just have to select the shape from shape box and drag it over our slide. Again, have to select another rectangle and just set it over the larger portion of the slide. We have to find exact rotation angle so that we can cut extra portion and adjust it correctly. Now select both of them, format, merge shape, intersect. Boom! Here is our expected shape. Again we have to do the same work so drag another rectangle over here, set it beside the first portion. Adjust it correctly. Now we have to work with a smaller piece of rectangle as we need a smaller part. That's why we have to crop the extra part of this rectangle. Mark the extra part of top and bottom also. Select all this, go to format, merge, shape, fragment. Now cut the extra part at bottom and top. Just duplicate the rectangle and set it over here. Now adjust them together and change the fill color also. But we all have to remember that the color of our shape matches with the background color. For this purpose, we have to select the background picture from our device. Blank slide, insert picture and select a picture which one you want. Here is our selected picture. Now it's time to set it up. Align center and align middle. Now change the color of the rectangle to gradient fill. You also can use solid fill but by using gradient it will look too much beautiful and bright. Now select all this and set it over the picture. Simply cut and paste it out. Now change the brightness transparency and the gradient also as the rectangle matches with our picture it completely depends on your picture Okay, now it's time to work for setting shadow. We have to set shadow by maintaining our theme and our working process. Select distance and set it for all rectangles. Okay, done. Now we have to add some text. We need to add some text depending on the background picture or our theme. I had already prepared some writing so that our time would be saved. I just simply paste it over the portion. Now we have to set the color of the text by keeping contrast with the background color. By doing this, our presentation or our slide will look too much pretty and eye catchy also. Done. 
Wow! Here is it done. It's quite look simple and gorgeous also. Now the most important thing is animation. So select all this, go to animation and select animation fly in. Choose from left and now go to animation pan, select all and choose timing, medium or first. Select smooth ending and smooth starting also. It's too much important for this part. Now select animation to the text box also. Okay, now it's time to do something different to our slide. We will design something on our background. For this purpose, have to select a shape from shape box. Select a rectangle or a frame, insert the shape on the slide and make sure you are holding down the shift key to make this frame perfectly square. Now after changing the color, we have to transparent it. Just duplicate the rectangle and set that at the end part of our previous rectangle. Select both of them and make it transparent. Now we will have to make some lines that will highlight our rectangles and our background also. Just duplicate it, rotate it and set it correctly by maintaining our size we also have to change our fill color and shape outline also shape fill white outline no outline here is it done now it's time to duplicate both of line and paste it over here okay after doing this we have to Select this rectangle and go to animation to set animation. Select animation as you want. You can choose it as your wish. Select animation for the line also. I will set fly in. Select both of them. Animations fly in. Choose from right choose from top okay it's time to add some text also I will set this text regarding to my background picture if you want you can add and you can don't add this also animation pan select all this animation choose start with previous now it's time to do the most important thing that we have to set background animation. I will select row and string, select with previous. Set it at the top. Okay, here is it done. Now it's time to observe our work. I have done it by using 16 and 13 as it is available to us. Perhaps it's easy to doing with 18. This is the another part of this video which is completely reverse of our opening part. This is our today's tutorial. Hope you guys love this video. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the videos first. And don't forget to like, comment and share also. Stay well, stay blessed. Thank you.